Hello and welcome back to Inside the Man Cave. My name is David Danger and today we're going to have a look at the DC Primal Age action figures of Batman and the Joker. We're going to take a look at them and we will be unboxing them on camera. So these action figures were made by Funko. Um, that I think everyone should know who Funko is with the Funko Pops and everything. And they made these sort of 90s, I would presume maybe 90s action figures out of like medieval style, out of the DC Comics range. So if we take a look at one of them, this is the Batman one. And then at the back, We've got a whole range, so we can come. Um, we've got um, Batman there. We got Green Lantern. We have Aquaman. We have Scarecrow, the Joker, of course, King Shark, and Mr. Freeze. So we've got the little Funko icon there. Um. And yeah, so they, they they look pretty cool. I'll give you a look at the Joker one. <clears throat> so that's a little bit more in depth with the Joker one. DC Primal Age at the top. And at the back, it's the same thing with a collect them all. Now I've only got the Joker and Batman one, so I think they're the only ones I'm probably going to keep. I do like the designs of them. Um, they look very retro, but then they look very sort of modern at the same time. So we'll unbox one at a time, starting with Batman. No, actually we'll start with the Joker first, then Batman. Um, so let's get to it. So let us begin the unboxing of the Joker one. So I'm hoping this can all catch on camera. Um, we'll open from the sides. And go from there. So we can already see some accessories we've got. Um, hmm. Not sure what they are. I have, oh, I've got an axe and a shield. So let's look at the Joker figure first. Put that over here. And there he is. Joker. He feels very sturdy. Um, the arms move pretty well. Now let's open this the packet. Yeah. So we've got a nice little shield, it looks like. Uh, definitely looks like a Joker kind of character. And we've got an axe. So let's try and put this all together. So there he is, we're going to give him a little bit more closer look. If we can. And the back again, so. A cool, cool little uh, display piece figure. Very happy with that. Okay, now on to the next. That is Batman. So let's unbox this beauty. So again, he's coming, he's got accessories. Um, this stuff off camera. 
first. Let's open the accessories up. And we have a Batman Bat Shield, which looks pretty sick. And a Batman Sword, a Bat Sword. And then let's take a look at the figure himself. And there is Batman. So of course he's got his shield um, at the front. Um, and the cape at the back that looks like it sort of can come off. Really like the design of it. Again, it's the same sort of type of feel with the other uh, Joker figure. Um, but yeah, here's another look with his shield. The only sort of problem I have with it, I cannot get the sword in his hand. Like, there's a little, um, his hand there, and then that's the sword. And there is just no way he can <laughs> be able to hold it. <laughs> um, but obviously he can hold the... Yeah, I don't want to try and force it um, without breaking the action figure, but at least he can hold his shield. Um, but yeah, I really like the design of it. Again, I'll sh try and show them both to you now. <clears throat> so there they are. Two cool little action pieces. Um, I picked them up for about 20 bucks, uh, Australian. And yeah, I, I really liked them. I thought they were cool. Again, they're made by Funko, um, and they've got a whole collection of DC villains, um, including like the Scarecrow and Mr. Freeze. If you want to, um, definitely check them out. So there they are, guys. The DC Primal Age of action figures by Funko. I hope you liked this little review unboxing and I will see you in the next video.